hi guys it's another new month and i am so pumped for today's batch cooking session yes so if you're new here we'd like to cook once a month we're a family of seven and we just think it saves a lot of time instead of cooking every day spending two hours in the kitchen and also it's nice to have a meal plan which we follow as we are batch cooking because it shows that we eat healthy and yeah it's just good for us anyway so if you like this kind of content remember to hit the subscribe button and now let me tell you exactly what we are going to eat this month pork would you believe i have not cooked pork in our house for the last eight years yes 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 well once upon a time eight years ago i read something in the newspaper that just traumatized my life but now and then just maybe stop eating pork and consequently stop cooking pork for my family but i have realized i'm just being cuckoo crazy pork is healthy it is healthier than red meat for sure and it is uh it is cheaper than red meat more affordable and also it is yummy so i'm going to cook pork for the first time in eight years i'm really excited the recipe that i found promised to be the easiest juiciest greatest deliciousest and all those things but we are going to prove that today and see whether that is true or not so i'm going to cook pork and then chicken because i am running late i am sure nobody is surprised about that here Today I'm not going to cook, cook, cook chicken. What I'm going to do is I'm going to marinate it, put it in Ziploc bags, dump it in our freezer, and then the day we want it, we'll thaw it, and then we'll grill it in the oven, and boom, bam, boom, we have grilled chicken for dinner. How easy is that? Yes, so I won't cook it, I'll just marinate it. That should take me 10 minutes at most. Beef stew, because hello, it's beef stew. Need I say more? Meatballs, because hello, they're meatballs you know we have kids kids love meatballs and grown-ups too so yeah meatballs and then i bought three new types of beans if you watch the grocery haul video so we have uh butter beans the black ones we have yellow beans and we have um bazis. so those ones should be quick and fast so this should be very quick let's see how it goes I've started with the beef stew recipe because it's easy, it's straightforward. I've done it so many times here. We love it like that. We've already boiled the, be the beef. It's the one we got from the slaughterhouse if you watched my uh, grocery haul video. So yeah, I'm just frying the rest of the vegetables and then I'll put in the beef, my lovely spices and Bob's your uncle. And this is what we're going to have for dinner. So it will be very quick. guys guess where i got this rosemary from yes i got it from my garden i finally have rosemary in my garden that is fresh 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 so my garden is doing pretty good of course when i say pretty good you know i mean it's just barely surviving <laughs> but we'll get there i'm pretty happy about this rosemary batch cooking and the uh what do you call it the food processor and the blender were the mvps well today we have a new mvp yes i am upgrading my kitchen one mvp at a time <laughs> 
So, boom. So no, I'm not cooking with Jumia, uh, but I'm cooking with what is inside the Jumia box, which I'll show you just now. So a lot of you have been telling me the way I need to up my game when it comes to boiling stuff in my kitchen. And I heard the people, so I went and bought myself a pressure cooker. Yes, on Jumia, no less, because I mean, you only live once. So I want to show you guys the pressure cooker that I bought. I'm really excited because now boiling beans and lentils should be a five minutes affair. That's what you guys told me. Oh, you have a pressure cooker, this thing, they're going to be ready in five minutes. It better be five minutes, you guys, or I'm coming for you. Anyway, I'm just kidding. So let me show you what I got. So I always used to have this phobia of pressure cooker. Okay, today's video seems to be a lot about my phobias. Anyway, I used to worry about pressure cookers exploding on me. And I actually wanted to buy an, uh, you know, an instant pot, a digital one, and I'll get there, guys. But I found this one, which they are calling explosion proof, and it really looks explosion proof, you guys. So this one is 11 liters, and if you want to buy it, I'll put a link down below, you guys. Please just use my link. It really supports my channel when you do that, and I appreciate that. So now, here is my 11 liters pressure cooker from Julia, and let me show you how it looks like. Uh, I already pre-soaked pre my beans, lentils, and what you might call it, last night. Okay, so everything has been soaked and ready. So here is my... pressure cooker okay and then the manual did they throw the manual comes with the manual uh -huh. it's made of aluminium in case you're wondering and that's all that i can read from the manual but it should be easy it's a no-brainer guys it's a no-brainer all right so these are the handles which i am going to fix right here That's how they go. Yes. With my trusty screw. And then we got this for here. This kind of thing. My mom used to have one of these when we were younger. It used to just give me nightmares. So there we have it. So I want to wash it and then I start boiling my beans and then I'll tell you guys whether they will take five minutes or not. Let's talk about pork okay here I have all the ingredients that I need for making pork it's a very simple recipe or so it looked but then it also looked very delicious so let's see how this goes I have three kilos of pork which I bought from city market but not from our usual vendor because our usual vendor is Muslim but they directed me to another place to buy the pork so we've chopped it up it's looking nice and healthy I have my dark brown sugar right here. I have onions. I have garlic and ginger paste. I have black pepper. I have oyster sauce. I had to go to Naivas for this especially. And I have dark soy sauce and I have salt. And that's it. It's very easy. Let's hope it will be very delicious. Let's go to the stove. So 
after having cooked the pork and tasted it, um, <laughs> all I can say is I think it was um, uh, over advertised. <laughs> um, I, I will not be trying that recipe again. I look for other uh, pork recipes. If you have one that you'd like me to try, please let me know down below because, <laughs> yeah. I remove it from the freezer uh, a few hours before in the morning, let's say from around 10 a.m. if you're going to have it for dinner. And then once it has thawed, pour out the excess water and then oil my baking tray, uh, roast it in the oven for 45 minutes and halfway flip it, okay? Also sprinkle a bit of salt if needed. And my gosh, oh, it smells so good. It tastes even most delicious are very very good please try this recipe and it's so easy saves so much time love it this chicken recipe you guys is just absolutely fantabulous okay so we've already had it as you can see and uh we are having it the, this month with ugali and oh my goodness oh my goodness Um, I would say the pressure cooker lived up to its expectations or to my expectations because the beans all cooked in about 45 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, I'm still getting the hang of it. So this was my first time using it, but I would highly recommend it. And yeah, it saved a lot of time. Definitely a pressure cooker is, is, uh, is a good idea for sure, for sure. So now it's a whole new day because I couldn't finish batch cooking because I had to go to work. I mean, you know, life has to go on. So now, uh, yeah, I want to cook the mbazi and the yellow beans because they already boiled. A pressure cooker came through. So that's what I want to do. I love yellow beans because they're so creamy and yummy and I decided to add some peas because I'm from the mountains number one and number two because I had extra peas and I thought it would be nice you just for color you know and I, I, I love cooking with a lot of vegetables because it's it just adds all the nutrients of the vegetables and someone was asking me how what I do to make our kids love vegetables or what I did and they just they have they are surrounded by vegetables in whatever they eat so they just i think they just fell in love with it so 
I think it's a good idea to just add a lot of vegetables in whatever that you're cooking. Either on the side or in the dish itself, it all comes out really nice. So yes, <laughs> it is another day of cooking because, oh my gosh, life is just happening to me this time round. It is happening with all cylinders. not laugh at my baby carrots from our garden uh, at least we tasted them and they were okay yes if you saw the grocery haul video it talked about how <laughs> our carrots did not <laughs> they did not mature <laughs> oh my gosh yes funny times fun times Uh, my amazing sister-in-law was around in in January and she brought me spices. Oh my gosh. You know you love cooking when someone comes visiting and they think the best gift they can bring for you is spices for cooking. And yes, she was so right. Oh my gosh. These spices really elevated this dish. I cannot even... So guys, today I'm making the meatballs. This is the batch cooking that has taken me three days to actually do it. But this is the last thing that I need to make. So I have my one kilo of beef here. I have one and a half cups of, uh, of what are these? Meat, meat hoot. <laughs> three onions. And then I have three, uh, three eggs, which I don't think I'm going to need. Then I have salt, I have coriander spice, and I have basil. I've done this before you guys, so this will be very quick. For the beef, for the minced beef, I had two kilos of it, and that's too many meatballs. So what I did is I divided half of it I'm going to use to make a stew. I'll show you a few snippets of that, and the rest I'm going to use to make the meatballs. So let's get on with it. I decided to add butternut squash uh, to my meatball recipe. I've never done this before, but I had the butternut and I thought it's nice to add just extra flavor, extra color and extra texture to the meatball stew, which was so amazing. And yeah, I like experimenting with such things and this time it came out very well. I don't write the dates on the covers of the containers because all these meals will be eaten in one month anyway. 
but I do write what is in the containers of course so that we know what is stored where so yes I don't write the dates but if I was storing for longer than a month then I would but since in a month's time all the freezers will be empty again I don't need to so thank you so much guys for spending this time with me I hope you have enjoyed the video please watch another video on this channel and if you like this kind of content do give us a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye